The ATX leg extension leg coil machine is pretty basic in terms of design and features. The design has remained unchanged for over 10 years. There is a very good reason for this. It is simply because it is one of the most popular machines in the ATX range. One of the advantages of being in the game for a, for a long time is that I can actually prove to you that our equipment is built to last. Now this is not actually an ATX machine, it's the previous model, it's the Barbarian leg extension leg curl machine and it's been set up here for at least six years I think. In that time it's seen loads of use in a harsh environment. So right now we're on a mezzanine floor in a shitty old warehouse and right now I'm freezing my ass off. When the sun hits the roof later on there'll be condensation dripping down. In summer it's like a sauna up here, plus the roof has those clear panels so there's lots of harsh light. There's probably four weeks a year when it is comfortable. So this thing's seen a lot. Port Botany is just over the golf course. Sometimes you can smell the sea, the sea salt in the air. Despite these conditions and usage, this old girl just keeps on going. It's missing a couple of parts here and there that's been pilfered. I probably should rotate the pads or replace them, but I just want to see how long I can get them to last. But the ma main reason is still here is simply because no matter how many we have in stock, we always seem to end up running out. And I'll explain to you why these machines have been so popular. Normally ATX machines are loaded with all these amazing build features and innovations, but the beauty in this old girl is its simplicity. Now, the backrest has two adjustment positions for leg extensions. Now, when the backrest is lowered for lying leg curls, you'll see the back of the seat pad gets elevated. This gets your hips horizontal for lying leg curls, and then your thighs are completely supported on the contoured padding. The handles at the top of the backrest are there for when you're doing lying leg curls and there's handles on the side for leg extensions too. Now the lever arm pivots on industrial bearings. They're housed in a thick plated steel casing. There are adjustable rollers for the leg extensions and lying leg curls. So the machine is um, perfect for all body shapes and sizes. But I guess the main feature about the build is that it is just a tank. That is why you'll see it in gyms uh, throughout Australia and throughout the world. For gyms or personal training studios, the ATX leg extension leg core machine is great value. A generic leg extension machine with a weight stack is gonna cost you about $3,000. A quality brand is going to be much, much more. Plus, they take up more space with the weight stack on the side. Naturally, the downside is that you're going to have to change plates. Now, this is not too much of a drama in your gym if you lay it out based on body parts. Put this machine near your plate loaded leg press so that you have access to plates to make the changes easier. Loading and unloading a leg curl or leg extension is a breeze compared to a leg press because obviously you lift a lot less weight. For gym owners, I thought I'd ask Matt from uh, at the gym in UK how his leg extension leg curl machine has fared in his gym. So Matt, how long have you had your machine in your gym? I reckon we've probably had it in it four years. It's got to be four years, hasn't it? You reckon five, do you, Simon? Simon reckons five. Are the members okay with it being plate loaded as opposed to being cable? Is we were a bit unsure because we have got a two in one uh, stack weight leg extension leg curl over there. So we were a little unsure as because you're kind of used to certain things in a commercial gym, aren't you? Like you're used to like a stack weight pull down or a stack weight crossover. And I know, Sam, you like your plate loaded stuff anyway, but in a commercial environment, people want ease. Um, but no, people aren't too bothered about buy it. Um, we do still have people use that unit, but I would say the plate load one gets more use, uh, even with PT. Like all our PTs, like all the girls 
use this or PT people on this one because yeah. they know that it is more comfortable. What do you like about the machine? The strength curve, because it is generally more comfortable and it suits everyone um, pretty much. So I'm going to get Jack on in a minute, who's recording, to show you, because Jack's a strong man and, and he likes this unit. He sits in it and it's comfortable. Whereas I know Jack struggles with that, that one. Not only could he stack it, he needs more weight, but also the actual proportions and getting in it. So Jack could jump on there. On there. Pow. On there. Pow. Big or small. Yeah. He's H. So there you go, Jack, six foot three strong man. What don't you like about the machine or what would you like to change? To make it easy and to avoid there being issues is let's say you change the position is there's an ever so small amount of movement. So when people are doing leg curls, then I don't get it moving, but I'll be doing it strict. Whereas if someone's trying to heave the weight, then they can get a bit of play in this. Now we've had one negative review of this machine. It related to the positioning of the lever arm. The complaint was that the pivot point was too wide and the legs were rubbing and there was not enough clearance. Now, this is the first time I've ever heard of such a complaint with this machine and all the other leg attachments that we sell. And I had no luck getting further details from the, the reviewer. In the reviewer, the buyer expressed buyer's remorse that they didn't get a machine with the side position rollers. Honestly, this one had me scratching my head. Nobody had ever raised this as an issue. Now, this design here is not uncommon and has been around for years. Plus, in particular with this machine, this is one of Lee Priest's favorite, and I don't need to tell you how big his legs are. So if he has no issues, most of us won't. Situating the pivot point to the side is great, but it has to be done right. If it's not done right, you'll always feel uh, more resistance on the side that's closer to the pivot point. Even if you don't, over time you might. A machine in this price bracket or lower would really struggle to get that design right. The high-end machines that have this design are made from the highest quality materials. This design here is just simpler. It's more durable, especially at this price point. It is used on all of our leg attachments for benches, plus it has been around for years. And um, you'll see legends with massive legs like Tom Platt's using machines with the pivot point in the center. So don't be put off by anything you hear about that. If you're a gym or a personal trainer who is on a budget and you're tight on space and you're looking for a quality leg machine, I would have no hesitation in recommending this machine to you. When it comes to gym equipment, nothing beats time when demonstrating the value of functionality, durability. Many of the ATX machines have been tweaked over the years. They like to make um, improvements, but this machine has remained the same. It is the same reason why I'm standing next to an old beat up version right now. It does its job so well, so, you know, why would I change it? And I'd just like to show people that our equipment does last even when you use it and you don't treat it um, with kid gloves.